of the league members. Today marks the first year that I've come here to report on the state of the league, which seems odd considering everything we've been through over our first 11 seasons. While most of us live all, all over the country, and even the world for that matter, whether permanent or a temporary stay for one season, I feel a close bond with all nine of you. Fantasy football has the power to bring people together, and as your commissioner, I've strived to do just that through the league and the fantasy hut. Heading into the second season of the second decade of our league, I felt this was as good a time as any to address all of you about where we've come as a group and what the future holds for this great league. The league is in a tremendous place in 2016. Our annual off-season vote led to no changes in our current structure, and while not everyone agrees on every topic, I think we can all agree that consistency is a good thing. I encourage all league members to have an open mind when it comes to our league settings and rules, especially when we discuss any possible changes on a yearly basis. Consistency is good, but change can be a good thing as well if it leads to a more prosperous future for the league. I can't speak for everyone in the league, of course, but when I look back over our first 11 seasons, I can't help but marvel at what we've built. What began as an ordinary fantasy football league has become an institution and a model for how to improve and maintain the highest quality fantasy league. That's not only a credit to myself, but a credit to the hard work and the dedication of all of the league's members. Your enthusiasm for the game of football, and of course fantasy football, is an encouraging reinforcement for a commissioner that wants nothing more than to ride his league mates with the best possible fantasy football league. Your efforts do not go unnoticed. Providing the best possible fantasy football league means thinking about the next season, the next three seasons, the next five seasons. In our world today, everything is about the future. I have no reason to think the next 11 seasons won't be exactly like its first 11. With your continued support and dedication, the league should only get better. Now, while change could be in our future, I don't foresee anything drastic on the horizon. Ideas have been shared and discussions have been had about introducing new elements into our league, and we will continue to have those discussions moving forward. I want everyone to know, if you don't already, that I am an open book, willing and able to discuss anything and everything at all times. <laughs> now on to the season at hand, because that's obviously the most important thing as we, as we come into to draft weekend. I want to take a moment to address that upcoming draft day, and the weekend that has become a yearly tradition for the league. Unfortunately, we will have our smallest turnout ever with the possibility of only having four members in person. It's a holiday weekend and one league member recently moved to the West Coast, so the numbers are understandable, but it doesn't diminish the weekend by any means. We'll still be live, just with some more faces on screens than we're used to. No day is more important than draft day every year because, well, it's draft day. We've been waiting all year for it. But it's also, for some of us, the only time we see each other each year. Let's make it another memorable draft week. And let's make 2016 another memorable season. We have a new champion we're all chasing, and I'm excited to see if he can defend his title or if a new team will take the reins as the league's champion. Good luck to all this season, and here's to getting what should be another exciting season underway. I thank you for your support.